not hard to hear God here. You, you think it's a something will happen? What was in the man is replicated in the people. Simple. Can I continue? All right. So God will speak to you in the very area you know. So guess what? What you know and what you do not know will limit how much the Lord uses you. The difference between a minor prophet and a major prophet is not that the major prophet was talking for long. It's not in the length of speech. It is in the weight of speech. It's not length. It's what? It's weight. You are the wisdom before was a lawyer. He wrote and wrote and wrote and wrote and wrote. So when God is looking for people who need to accommodate his wisdom and counsel, he needs someone who is intelligent. Somebody said, it's not about school, it's about power. The kingdom of God is not in words, it is in the demonstration of, he said, whether I say, come out or follow out, as long as the thing came out, it what? It came out. How long will you say it? How long will you say it came out? How long will you, will, you, will you say it came out? There are people who were full of power, full of glory, but because they lacked education, they couldn't write to tell us the easy way they did what they did. Now we are doing it again from starting. What if the mighty man had told us? What if Elijah had shown us how to bring fire? What if that was all he wrote? Elijah chapter 1 from verse 1 when he or Elijah told us what he was saying when he knelt down to pray what if Elijah had provided that information had come you know by now things will happen in Nigeria you are selling fuel at 1-5 fuel at 1-5 things will happen in this country Nigeria would have been better because the church would have been known as a fire producing people. He said, just announced that this election, if anybody goes to steal ballot box, no worry. Ask what happened to Adam, Mustafa, Hamzat. There's a lot of history. The nation will come back to righteousness. To bring a nation to righteousness is not by telling them Jesus loves you, it's by introducing fire. People obey more when they are afraid than when they are in love. What is is love? You think what makes a man stay with, with God is love? No, no. It's he that loves you. You should fear him. Do you hear that story? He loves you, but you what? Yeah. God loves me. You are telling a, a sinner. God loves you. You think it will help him? Love God. He doesn't know what it means to love. He doesn't know that you are saying God loves. It's not in the Bible. From Genesis chapter 1 to, 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 to the, you will never find Jesus loves you be saved. It was always a warning. He said, he said, save yourself from this untoward generation. Who loves you, God? Well, I'm not saying God loves you, but how he showed us he loves you is that he took his only son and took a dagger and stabbed him. He said, I love you. So you just killed your only son to prove your love. What will you do to me if, if I don't accept it? Okay, let me explain. A 
soldier who holds a gun and says to you, Marry me. Then you shoot five people first. Pa, pa, pa. Say, Marry me. For the love. You, uh, you, know, you know what? I, I, I once watched the a soldier guy who went to go and propose to his girlfriend. So he went with all his friends who were soldiers. The girl was thinking she was doing NYC about to pass out. He came with all his guys. As he came, they started doing this like, press up, press up. They were pressing up. One held gone, like the, you say, I love you. You say, I love you too. Because <laughs> let's avoid, let's avoid rough stories. That they were, they, they were, ah, there was one girl in KG. Ah, no, the girl said, I love you too. Later, we can we can discuss the terms and conditions, but now, let's amen. God loves you. But how he showed he loved you is that he took the only thing he loved and killed. Let me explain what it means again. It's like saying, I love you. Then I took my my girlfriend. The one you, you saw me with that girl. I love this girl very much. I said, I love you. He said, I won't believe because you, you love this one now. Then I took a gun and shot her. Bah, I said, I love you. If you can do this to the person, you we, we know you with. I, I love you too, sir. I don't know. Just are we together? Where were you before we came in? Where were you before we came in? Elijah's story. So why, did, if Elijah had retained a formula for bringing down fire, you can be powerful but not translate that thing to people. Kenneth Hagin wasn't so powerful as you would define power. But Kenny Hagin's books have discipled every pastor. Now, you, you, you cannot rise somehow in the kingdom without an encounter with something of Kenneth Hagin. Yet he never left his city. He was in one place like us in Badrisa till he died. But his books, it shaped. Are you telling me that you want to know about the kingdom? And you did not read the book of Dr. Myers Moro on the kingdom. Which kingdom do you belong to? This one. The man shaped what the kingdom is. He has, I think I had about 86 of his books. The man knows what he's talking. So even today he's not here, but we are not we are not feeling the, the pain. It's not. If you see people are celebrating you long after your death, it's because you are still alive. explain what I mean by a sanctified imagination. Ah, God help me. What therefore is imagination first, right? Then we talk about the sanctified and the unsanctified imagination. Imagination is from two words. Image nation or image formation. Let me explain. How many of you are into Okay. Back. Okay, you are young. Back when we were alive, those days, you know now. Now the world is in, is in, has colored. You can see this color is blue. When we were alive, it was not blue; it was only really white and black. Hey, you believed me, Jesus? Hey, she said yes. Hey, you believed? You know, under the anointing, anything can be believable. You can carry this handkerchief. This handkerchief is the handkerchief that was used when Jesus died. They swear to his face. Buy it, something can happen. Am I looking for, for trouble? Yes. You know, under that with a, a keyboard playing, things can happen in church. Robberies can take place. This is the handkerchief. Just, just look at what I'm talking. It's very, 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 very calm. You shout, don't say, Hala Mahadala Farakish. Lift up your hands and give God praise in this place. As we're praying, the Lord just said to me, this handkerchief has power to 
you say 100,000? If you know you believe, I don't want anybody. If you're not, don't rush if you're not led. So you're a thief. Don't rush. Allow me to select those who are serious. You have made it a den of robbers. Okay, back to our let's go to the word of God. Hallelujah. A sanctified imagination. Imagination means images. What images? Pictures, right? Pictures. 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 Nation. A nation where pictures are moving. A nation where pictures live. Are you aware that if what we call visions are imaginations? There is a rule of creation. The first rule of creation is you cannot think what does not already exist. It's impossible. First rule of creation. You can't think what has not already happened. You think for you is new. It's already there. You just went. Have you ever entered your dream? You know, blessed are you if you can dream. It's a gift of God. Dreams are gift. I know a friend who says she doesn't dream only once a year. You miss the kind of things we enjoy. Jesus. When this new nation is too hard, we lie down and we go to our houses in the, and go and rest. Has it happened to you before? Does it happen to you? When you say this, this country don't tire me, then you sleep, then suddenly your spirit leaves your body. Say, I'm tired of Nigeria. And when it goes to a house where things are happening, then go and rest there. And when you are there, you feel like you are it is a real world you are in. In fact, you can hit something there and you will feel it physical as if you hit something. It's called Ima. Imagination is not just, it's like I imagined it. Genesis 6, 11. 